You're in the Hawk Central Huddle, a weekly peek inside Iowa athletics. I'm Danny Lawhon, and he's Chad Lysico. And Chad, we have the first road game of the season for Iowa, both in general and in Big Ten Conference play. It's another trophy game at the University of Minnesota. Uh, what kind of test will the Hawkeyes be seeing just in that general sense against the Gophers yeah. and having to travel outside the state for the first time? Yeah, first on the road game thing, Iowa really wasn't that great of a road team last year. Yes, they won at Iowa State and mm -hmm. Nebraska, but the other three road games were kind of stinkers. You look at Michigan State, Northwestern, and Wisconsin, really got off to slow, slow starts in those games, and that really is ultimately what plagued them. So, talked to some players yesterday. They're motivated to get off to a fast start. Iowa has yet to score on its first drive of, this, of the game this season. Mm -hmm. That would be a priority. Um, and then just as far as uh, you know, this matchup is concerned, it's a beatable team, so you don't want to get down 7 nothing, 14 nothing team early um, against Minnesota because you, know, you don't want to play catch-up in this game. You want to control this game. You know, we, we talked last week for the bye about how bitter of a pill that Wisconsin loss was to swallow, and there was going to be time needed to mentally recuperate from the result of that game and physically recuperate from a bruiser of a game that that was. Uh, how is Iowa faring on both of those fronts heading into this week's game? Yeah, uh, one thing I wrote about yesterday is uh, the team changes by week approach. Uh, you know, I won't get into the schedule tweaks here and there, sure. but the bottom line is Kirk Ferentz said usually after a bye week he's not happy with a Sunday practice. This week he actually was, so that's a good sign. It does seem like talking to the guys that they've really flushed that loss. They actually seem to be focusing on more of the positives, um, like the offense uh, moving the ball effectively mm -hmm. against Wisconsin. The defense still looks good. Gave up that long last drive. That's a that's a concern, but uh, they they seem like they've moved past this and they're looking forward to things to come. You've mentioned those good signs that have been there from the offense the past two weeks, especially. Uh, I think people still want to see more steps, mm -hmm. particularly just with points in particular. Yeah. Uh, what does a positive step look like this time around at Minnesota for that Iowa offense? Yeah, certainly uh, controlling the line of scrimmage is going to be key. That's always a key for Iowa. But really, uh, I'd like to see good balance, maybe a 200 passing, 200 rushing, because that's kind of what Brian Ferentz wants to see too. He wants to see that, that ability to play action pass, that ability to get four yards on first down. So I'm looking for a third straight 400 yard game. I know you, you don't want, you talk about wins and losses typically, mm -hmm. but as far as the offensive uh, concepts and, and schemes and everything go, you don't want them to take a step back to you know a 290 yard game, something like that kind of want to keep the pedal to the metal, get, the, get 400 to 500 yards this week at Minnesota. We'll have everything from this first road trip covered for you at hawkcentral.com. Enjoy the rest of your week.